Hey guys, it's Nick Bruce speaking back at it again. Just want to let y'all know this is going to be my first short for season two of Nick Bruce Shorts. Um, just so y'all know too that I'm going to be going on Snapchat to see if anyone will answer. Um, you know, because there's this girl that I really like and I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like she might like me, but at the same point, I don't know. So yeah. And also just to let y'all know, we will be doing a video on Amigo soon. I'm not sure when, but we will be doing it very soon. So yeah, but make sure you hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't and vote for Trump 2024 because Trump's the one that's going to save us a World War III. Not trying to get political, but just let y'all know, make sure you also notification because we're gonna need that too if i said that already my bad but yeah so let's continue as i got onto my snapchat guys i realized that there were people that answered me and people that didn't and it was just past text and stuff and there wasn't really a whole lot of people that answered on my snapchat which proves that no one actually gives a f but anyways um yeah i call Ryder just to make sure if he would answer <laughs> and well turns out he did, but not for the purpose you guys are probably expecting. The real reason why I needed him was so he could be part of Nick Bruce Venture 7. So yes, in this video, I will announce this, that he is part of Nick Bruce Venture 7 as Dr. Slayer. A new Dr. Slayer, perhaps. And yeah, that's the reason why I try to add him. But it was also mainly because I wanted to kind of see that um, if anyone actually gave a f if I called. And of course, he actually gives a f so there you go then i try to go to callie which is one of my other friends and see if she actually gave a f but of course she did it but like right after the video she decided to hang up on me after i said something to her that she didn't like when i was just trying to say i can't wait to get back to effing california try to get cammy to answer but no such luck because she blocks me for some reason and that same girl I was talking about, guys, she decided not to add me back, which is crazy. Okay, guys, it's about to hit 10, and um, I'm not quite sure if I can keep going. But um, this short might end off with just this. So at the end of the night, trying to prove myself wrong, I was going to see if Braden Akron would call me because he's one of my friends and one of my closest buddies from Mohegan. But of course, he didn't answer. So you know what I did? Got a call back from him. And now you can see that he was over here happy, smiling, and stuff like that. But at the same point, me and him were kind of getting into a busy conversation anyways because I had to tell him some stuff about that girl. So hopefully, maybe I might get my the way with her but at the same point i don't know because today at school she might not appreciate the note i gave her because i gave her like a note or something like that because i told her about what was going on with the situation with the other guys and how i feel like they were going to mistreat him or mistreat her but um yeah that's all i need to say in today's video so i slept for about eight hours and it's currently like five o'clock in the morning and let me just say this right now, last night was crazy, so I'm not going to end this video for just about it. I'm just going to keep continuing it since this is for season two of Nick Bruce Shorts. So we're about to suddenly begin this one with a bang. Because right after school today, guys, I think I'm going to be going to DK Effect, and I don't think it's going to be too bad. I've been hearing a lot of good things about it. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty sure they got Donkey Kong Super Mario or something like that. So yeah, and you can see the castle right there too. Now, do I own a console? Yes, but not the way you expected. So it's actually a DS. Um, you probably already heard of these already, but I have the uh, Mario Edition. Some people call it Special Edition or Mario Edition. But at the same point, I don't really care because um, I don't even care if this is limited edition or not. If it gets broken, I'll get a new one. But it's just that's just me. So, yeah, I got the games with it too, as you can clearly see. But again, now it's time to get ready for school and see what I can wear as a drip outfit. Also, guys, this year I'm going to be Luigi and Mario this year for Halloween. I don't exactly know if I'm going to be Luigi, but I think for Trunk or Treat I am. And then for Mario, I'm going to be him for actual Halloween. So, like, yeah. I don't even know why I got two costumes, to be honest, but it's because I had a good chance of doing it. So, like, my um, house manager here at my group home decided to tell me that, you know, he can get another costume. So, I was like, okay, I'll go for that. And, yeah. And I got two hats of it, too, Mario and Luigi. So, yeah. Because, like, I'm a huge Mario fan for the most part. Don't want to act childish or none of that. But I'm just letting y'all know. I love that stuff. And I'm personally a nerd for that. So, yeah. 
I just got out of school and like let me just say this right now we're enjoying ourselves as it is because we're about to get on a roll <laughs> you see what I'm saying so hey guys I'm in the doctor's point right now but I just want to give you the footage as much as I can so here it is Painted that did a really nice job, I ain't gonna lie, but it's kind of boring here. Anyways, I'm gonna go to DK, it doesn't really matter, so yeah.